क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी ए वन मिली वैट वीडियो सिग्नल हैविंग ए बैंड विथ ऑफ हंड्रेड मेगा हर्ट्स मीन्स ए सिग्नल इज हैविंग सिग्नल पावर इज गिवन सिग्नल पावर इज हाउ मच ओके वन सेकेंड सो सिग्नल पावर इज वन मिली वैट दैन इट इज हैव एंड द बैंड विथ ऑफ दैट सिग्नल इज हंड्रेड मेगा वैट्स ओके सो दैट इज ट्रांसमिटेड टू अ रिसीवर थ्रू ए केबल ए केबल इज चूज एंड इट इज ट्रांसमिटेड बट वेन एवर द ट्रांसमिशन थ्रू केबल इज टेक एन और एनी चैनल इट विल हैव सम लॉसेस सो द लॉस इन दैट चैनल इज गिवन एज फोर्टी डी बी लॉस फोर्टी डी बी इज द लॉस इन दैट चैनल एंड ऑल्सो गिवन दैट एफेक्टिव वन साइडेड नॉइज स्पेक्ट्रल डेंसिटी वन साइडेड नॉइज स्पेक्ट्रल डेंसिटी एट द रिसीवर सो नॉइज स्पेक्ट्रल डेंसिटी एट द रिसीवर इज गिवन एज आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू वॉट इज द सो इट इज गिवन एज टेन पावर माइनस ट्वेंटी वैट पर हर्ट्स देन सिग्नल टू नॉइज रेशियो एट द रिसीवर इज हाउ मच The question is, what is the signal-to-noise ratio at the receiver? At the receiver, you need to find SNR. Fine. This is the question. So this is. I'll explain you with the help of a figure. Already I explained, but just I'll explain you once again. See, there is a transmitter, there is a receiver. From transmitter to receiver, you need to send a video signal, a video signal, a video message. You will send in WhatsApp, right? WhatsApp or Facebook. So you you would like to send this video message to your friend. So the, you are like transmitter. Okay, you are like transmitter, and your friend is like receiver. So you are sending wirelessly in WhatsApp. So here, suppose I want to send to some cable, some channel, via the channel. So this channel has some loss. Means my video quality or my video power gets reduced. Some there is some noise will enter. The whatever I transmit, it may not deliver at the receiver. In WhatsApp also, you can see whenever you send some video message or something to some devices, not all devices, in some devices, if you send the message. Sometimes from some devices, uh, you will not get the exact hundred uh, percent quality. The quality may get degraded. You can see images also. If you uh, send the image from one fellow to other fellow, one fellow will have good quality, other fellow bad quality because based on his whatever the size present in his phone or memory, if he is having low memory, automatically the size gets downscale and it will save in his phone. Suppose he is having. Le less memory. Suppose he is having no uh, less amount of memory in his phone, then the image gets degraded and it will show to that person, the receiver. So in the similar way, the cable, the cable has some loss due to which the video quality gets some little bit degraded. So there is some noise or distortion gets added due to this loss. Fine. This is out of the box. Now, let me explain what he is saying. The signal, the video signal, what I am telling, it has a power of one milli watt. And the bandwidth of that is hundred megahertz. Now, at the receiver, what is given is one-sided power spectral density is given. Now, what he is asking, what is signal to noise ratio at the receiver? He is asking. So you might have known what is SNR. SNR is nothing but signal to noise ratio. It is nothing but signal power by noise power. At receiver, he is clearly asked. So signal power at receiver by noise power at receiver. This everybody can say. Now. See one thing I would like to tell you before we start this question. One thing I would like to stress a lot. Note: Suppose if you are doing A by B in a linear scale, in a linear scale, if you are doing A by B in dB scale, what it becomes? A minus B. A minus will will B is the value in dB. Suppose this is point number one. Point number two is. Suppose there is an addition, uh, not addition, division. Uh, one second. Yeah, no need to discuss the second point because the first point can be vice versa. The first point can be vice versa. Means if this is a by b in db scale, then this becomes a minus b in linear scale. So try to remember this. This is vice versa also correct. Okay. Now let me explain you. Now what is SNR? Okay, SNR at receiver is signal power at receiver by noise power at receiver. This is in linear. If you see in dB, what it becomes? SNR in dB. If you want, because the options are in dB, you can see signal to noise ratio is asking in dB. So SNR in dB is nothing but signal power in dB minus noise power in dB. Okay, please remember this. This is nothing new thing. Whatever I explained in the note, same thing is there. Fine. Now let us find the signal power individually, and also we'll find noise power individually at the receiver. These both are at receivers. Okay. So before we compute the signal power, 
uh, I explained already, right? A by B, A minus B. Okay, fine. Now we can directly jump on to finding the signal power. Signal power at receiver. See, what is see at receiver? What happens is don't look at any below formulas. Just listen to me. So at receiver, what is how the receiver power will be? It is nothing but transmitted power divided by power loss due to cable cable loss some loss. Okay, suppose if you are sending some hundred percent signal then due to degradation it takes decreased by half amount or half then the signal will be 50 percent of it so always remember the signal power at receiver is nothing but transmitted power by loss so this is in linear scale if i convert into db what happens received signal in db is nothing but transmitted power in db minus loss in db okay so the same thing i have written input power is nothing but output power plus cable power in that way also you can say but make sure this is in db powers can be added in db okay fine so from this only you'll get output power is nothing but input power minus cable power this is same as this only you can look over okay so output power is nothing but input power minus cable power so first of all we'll find what is this input power what is this cable power then you'll get this output power signal power at receiver you can find so what is this input power input power already given as 1 milliwatt but we want it in db right so 1 milli is nothing but 10 power minus 3 so for powers the db value is 10 log base 10 should be applied so 10 log base 10 of 10 power minus 3 you're going to get minus 30 db it is one's previous question 1 milli uh, is nothing but how much 1 milli db i guess is nothing but how much in db it's nothing but minus 30 db okay so if you can if you want you can remember or else it's easy to calculate okay so 1 milliwatt is nothing but minus 30 db so next we'll see cable power cable power already given in db so no need to calculate so this and this are readily available now what is output power i already told here you can see received power is nothing but transmitted power minus loss so transmitted power is nothing but input input power is minus 30 cable power is minus 40 sorry minus of cable power is 40 minus 30 minus 40 so total input power is minus 70 here plus minus multiplication division everything matters okay if one step if you miss minus sign then you're going to get a lot of wrong answers so output power is nothing but minus 70 db now you got signal power now let us calculate noise power you got signal power in db that is a good thing okay now let us calculate noise power in db fine at receiver the information given is he has given one-sided power spectral density he has given one-sided power spectral density one-sided power spectral density at the receiver is given as minus 10 power minus 20 watts per hertz okay this is given now also we know that bandwidth of the signal will never change at receiver or transmitter it is 100 megahertz which is nothing but mega is 10 power 6 into 10 power 2 it's nothing but 10 power 8 hertz so you can see if you multiply these two units just multiply units for uh, god's sake just multiply this watt per hertz into what uh, hertz hertz and hertz cancel you'll get something called watts so you're getting some some units of power so if you don't know any knowledge of power spectral density you can just looking at the units just multiply these two terms hertz and hertz cancel so finally you'll get a unit of power that is called watt then you can call simply it as a noise power because it is you're multiplying power spectral density at the receiver which indicates noise so or else you can go through this graph power spectral density watts per hertz on y axis on x axis frequency hertz so on y axis the value is 10 power minus 20 on x axis it is 10 power 8 so area under this will give the noise power so noise power is area under the graph or directly you multiply those two things as i told you shortcut the units multiplication will give you the answer 10 power minus 20 10 power 8 so you'll get 10 power minus 12 okay if it was two sided power spectral density then you should take other side also then the area will become two times the original one then you'll get 2 into 10 power minus 2 but it is given clearly one sided power spectral density i have taken only right side no two side okay so this you got as 10 power minus 12 watts in the linear scale then what is it in the db scale just apply 10 log base 10 10 log base 10 10 power minus 2 so minus 2 will come front so the noise power is minus 120 db so i hope you understood how to calculate noise power and we also got signal power now what is snr 
signal by noise in linear scale I already told in DB signal power minus noise power signal is minus 70 okay noise is minus 120 both and subtracting uh, subtracting minus into minus plus 120 minus 70 so you are going to get 50 dB as the answer so I have explained you clearly each and every step I hope everything is clear and you don't have any doubt even though if you have any doubts post them in the comment box feel, feel free to post the comments and subscribe the channel for getting more updates also I would like to tell one more point this is a straightforward direct question in gate gate 2015 you can refer gate 2015 communication it's a direct question so many questions are getting from the gate so try to practice the previous years of gate questions if possible see in his row this is a lengthy question this lengthy they'll never ask okay they'll test only basics if they are asking any lengthy question means definitely it is from previous gate or IES questions okay this is the end of this video thank you and subscribe the channel